Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Uh, it's been quite some time since my last video, and right now I'm uh, making this video to update on what has changed so far. Okay, I have since added five tool hits. As you can see, there's four on the dock and one on the carriage. So there's five tool hits now. Uh, like I said, I can fit six on the dock, but uh, it's, it only have five now because I've yet to make another tool hit. And the other change, as you can see, this is the new uh, Linux one. It it has yet to be tested, so it, the files won't be released yet. But it has one five zero one five on the dock, and that's the dock. So you don't have any uh, hot end fan on a yeah, part cooling fan on the tool head itself sorry if my hand gets in the way of the lens i know that uh, there's someone who is uh, irritated by my hand but i like to point things out so my hands might get in the way yeah. and the other change is i have since changed the spool to the side here so it's easier to uh, swap filament uh, so it's much more organized and I've used the uh, my made PC4 hub here so that it's easier to load and guide the filament right up to the umbilical to the tool head. So basically there are some of the changes but the problem that I'm facing now is this tool T1, the EBB is a dud. I get a bad product, bad shipment from uh, one of the vendors. So I've, I've ordered another one and I have yet to receive it so this T1 is not working the EBB there's a problem I've refreshed it many times I've checked the wiring everything is okay I've tried to use the wiring from the other tool here it works it, it doesn't work but this wire to the other tool it works so the, there's a, the problem is the, with the EBB itself so I'm waiting to change on that and one thing that Clipper has changed is that this is so it's basically the way it is is t0 1 2 3 4 so if you have a missing t1 tool previously we can just opt up opt out t1 and it will works no problem but now it seems that clipper has changed that you cannot have t1 missing extruder one missing so you need to fill up T4 into uh, extruder 1 so fill up the slot of extruder 1 then it can work so I I'm really we really don't want to uh, do so much thing on that I just wait for my EBB to turn up and put the uh, I fix the EBB on T1 to get everything working but the rest of the tool head is working so what I'm going to show you is just a uh, routine tool change from T0 to, T, to, to T4 without this two T1 because this T1 is activated right now but it can't do a random tool change because once it goes to T4 T4 I've set up uh, the extruder as extruder 1 to compensate for the missing T1 so once it goes to T4 your prompt and error so uh, let me try to do one uh, routine change yeah. to show you how it actually is <coughs> okay and that's the error so extruder becomes an error but we can just clear the error and I can click T0 and you will pick up T0 back. So let's say we do another round of uh, tool change. If you can see from the reflection, the LED light also change. But the status, status LED is for this tool head, the status LED is at the back, it's facing the back. Because in the future, I'm going to have them dock right up in the front using the dock slide. And the good news is somebody is already sending over the parts for the dock slide. But I'm not going to reveal yet. Maybe once I receive the parts, then I will reveal. 
we have a, a sponsor from someone and okay let me clear this to go with this zero first and so once we get that part and once i receive that part i will build the dock slide in front which will have zero build loss uh, for our build and basically that's it that's it for so once i receive my ebb uh 36 the new one i will fix that up to this t1 and i'm going to have everything calibrated like as usual the notch calibration uh i'm also going to change my clicky because right now the servo is moving this way this way up and down for my clicky dock <coughs> so it needs the bed to move down so that the servo arm can clear but now i i'm going next next i'm going to change it to a slight uh slight swipe the dot uh clicky slight swipe whereby the servo is moving out this way from the side so you don't have the bed you don't need the bed to move so much down so you just need to clear this way so i'm going to change my clicky dock as well and other than that everything is running good the uh, filament uh, management is much more better much more cleaner there's actually another space here for one more to, uh, because i intend to have six so there's the space here for one more and all right if you have any questions you can post them in our discord channel you you can join our discord channel as well uh okay let me show you our two head let's grab T2 to head so this uh, let me move this thing back a bit so this is the tool head if you can see here okay uh, this one the LED is uh, status LED is not yet fixed Wait, let me get a, a tool head with the status LED in it the T3 one okay this one yep as you can see here that's the status LED so this is the new tool head status LED is there the uh, nozzle LED is there and this is the dock sense and the carriage sense and this is the part cooling fan so for part cooling fan like i said once this thing is on on the once the tool head is on the door let's try to turn on the part cooling fan for part fan 3 so you can see this thing is turned on yeah that's the part cooling fan i don't know whether you can see that how can i show it maybe i can use the plastic Oh, I don't know how to show this thing but you can see that okay let me turn off the part fan and you can see the part fan turning off yeah now it's off so that's how the part fan has power because of the two pin on the tool head right so if you have any question guys join our discord channel post them i just recently received one comment on youtube whereby asking can it be fixed on a red rig v 4 <coughs> sorry about that of course as long as your printer is a fixed gantry printer it is no problem to have linux running on them because it's very easy to build this uh, linux is very easy to implement on any fixed gantry printer if you are unable to do it you can post them in our discord and i'll be more than glad to help with some maybe design for you to how to mount everything and we have uh we are in development of also for the flying gantry the dock slide for the flying gantry that will come later part we were we are now uh, waiting for the parts for the uh, fixed gantry dock slide and once we get that we are able to fix them on uh, my this vz board and we will have zero bit loss and we see how we go from there 
Alright, see you guys in the next video.